Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of about the last problem of today's weekly lead code contest, design a text editor. The problem states that we need to complete a class text editor which have following function add text, delete text, cursor left, cursor right. So add text basically states this whatever like in whichever position your cursor is, just add this particular text after that position. Delete text similarly says whichever position your cursor is, just delete k characters to the left of that cursor. Cursor left is basically move your cursor to the left and cursor right is move your cursor to the right by k position. So let's just uh, understand this with a single example. So we have add text lead code. So initially our we will just add this lead code okay and cursor uh, if your like cursor is now pointing here now you get delete text four so you just delete this four text from here okay and you your cursor will now point to here like after t now you get to add text practice so you will just add this text here uh, notice that this cod is not there at all and your cursor will now point to after e. Now you get cursor right three. So there is no right at this position, right? So you you will not uh, you you will not move your cursor uh, to the further right. And if you notice, like we need to return the ten character, the ten character previous to this cursor. So the ten character is uh, this practice and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and this TE. So ET practice is the uh, answer for this cursor left, cursor right. Now you are uh, asked to move cursor left by eight times. So you will just move this cursor to point after T. Now you delete the text, uh, you delete 10 uh, characters before this cursor, but there are only four characters. So you delete all these four characters and your cursor is pointing here like this uh, first character is now p only okay so basically in a in a way your cursor is pointing before p so you again make your cursor left two times so there is no no left character so your cursor will remain here and if you remember you have to give the 10 characters right but before this there is no character at all so the answer for this would be an empty string okay and uh, now you move your cursor six times right, uh, six times to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and you have to return the ten characters. Like, but there are only six characters before this, so you will just return these six characters, and the answer would be P R A C T I. So hope you get the question now. How to solve this? So as usual, let's try to dissect this into smaller problems. So we have these four functions with us, right? Add text, delete text, cursor left, cursor right. So for add text, what do you want? So before doing any of these, let's try to understand the value of k. So the value of k is at max 40. So there is no, uh, like at max 40 times, we can move left or right, or we can delete any text, or we can insert any text of uh, length 40 at max. And we have total this many number of operations. So if you just multiply these two, like because uh, see, you have to add a text of length k. So you have to iterate over it at least once, right? So depending on that, if you have this many number of operations, and if you have in, and if each length if each uh, string is of length k, which is 40, and you iterate over it one time, then you will be having 10, uh, 2 into 10 to the power, uh, like 4 into 10 to the power 5 number of operations here only. So basically, you can't actually go and make modify the entire string at once. So that's where what we actually need here is uh, a data structure that can add a character to any position in order one and we can move our cursor by one position so that's what required for uh, add text now for delete text what is required delete text is required uh, a data structure that can delete a character from any position by in order one time Similarly, move the cursor to one position left 
in order one time right because after deleting you will be moving your cursor to the left right uh, now for cursor left what you will need you will need a data structure that can actually move the cursor one position to the left okay because you are moving the cur like cursor left is basically cursor left uh, k times so you will just do this operation k times and uh, you also want to pre if you remember you also want to print the previous 10 characters so for that uh, you have to get the uh, you have, like your data structure should be able to give you a character at a given position or basically at the position where the cursor is now the last thing cursor right is also similar to cursor left uh, this will like these two operations will be required for cursor right moving the position to one position right and then if you remember you have to give the 10 characters before the cursor at the as the output so basically you need a you need your data structure to give you the element at the current position so these like these four operations can be performed like what all data structure is actually required is mentioned here now let's just uh, club all of them together so if you club them together what you will find is uh, these are the five operations that you will want your data structure to perform efficiently basically add a character at any position delete a character from any position and uh, get the element at the current position move the cursor by one position to the left and move the cursor by one position to the right now if you rem if you uh, see here like every operation is working on a single element and you want every of this operation in order one right so basically you want to add a single character at a given position you want to delete a single character from a given position you want to get the current position in order one and similarly you have to move one or right like by one position either left or right so everything is a single uh, single element operation and if you look if you think closely the best data structure that can fit in here is a linked list so that's what we will be using like a linked list if you think it can add a position it had it can add a character at any given position in order one similarly it can delete a character as well in order one and it can also give you the element at any given position in order one and similarly you can move one to the left or right in a linked list okay or basically in a doubly linked list so let's see a simple example so let's say you want to add a text so what you will do you will just maintain a linked list and a iterator over your linked list so depending on what you are using either you are creating your linked list yourself or you are using uh, the linked list of stl if you are using your, the linked list of stl you don't need doubly linked list like singly linked list is actually a, uh, you can think of it as a doubly linked list so this is let's say the iterator the iterator will always point to the next character uh, the character that the position at which the current operations will be applied so when you give when you get an add character you will just uh, add one character one like add each character one by one and just increment the in, increment this iterator similarly if you get a delete you will just uh, delete the character which is just before this iterator like you will uh, delete this and you, you will move the uh, pointer to the left similarly if you get um, cursor left you will just move your cursor to one position left similarly if you get cursor right you will just move this to one position right so what you need is a linked list and iterator so let's just look quickly look at the uh, implementation so implementation is very straightforward we take a linked list and we take an iterator now we i like for add text the initially iterator points to iterator will begin because there is nothing in the uh, linked list right and we are saying that our iterator will always point to the position where current operations will be applied so in a way our iterator point to the end of the linked list always uh, always in the first case like uh, now we initialize our iterator to editor.begin basically the editor.begin and editor.end is same at this stage because there is no element in the linked list now we iterate over every 
character of this text and we just inserted this at this position of the uh, of the linked list and we incremented our iterator now similarly for delete text remember that it points to the position which is after the text so if you want to delete let's say two characters from uh, here you will just you will you have to first take your link uh, your iterator is pointing here so you, what you need to do is you need to point your iterator here then delete it and then move your iterator here so that's what we are doing so we initially uh, iterator is pointing at the end uh, iterator is pointing here so we just move it one position left that's what we are like k minus minus and it minus minus and we are deleting one position now we delete this this is the delete part and after deleting we are point like we are not pointing it here because we want iterator to point to the current element like basically no element at all so basically we deleted so these two things are now deleted right so um, that's where the iterator will now point here so this is also simple now cursor left is just uh, we are moving the cursor k times until we hit editor begin and we just uh, do it minus minus and after that we return the 10 characters before this we will look at this function and similarly cursor right we just move to the right until we hit the end of the uh, editor or the linked list now let's just look at uh, the last function which is k left uh, it's also similar so we just copied our iterator once and we take we, we want 10 characters at max so we what we do we just a loop over it until we have like some characters to take and iterator is not pointing to begin so remember iterator is pointing to the position before which you have to do the operation right so that's what it is and if you do this you will get all the characters from the last so for like if you let's say take this character this character this character what you will get get is this character then this character then this character but in the output what you want is from here to here right so that's where we reversed this answer and just written it so hope you get the solution if you have any doubts in this question please post them in the comment section below i will answer them if you like the content give a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you